<laughs> and I promised the people I would talk about what I did Friday when ah. I went to uh, traffic court. I went to traffic court in uh, Silver Spring. Briefly, here's what happened. I'd been given a ticket, and I've never spoken about this. I've been given a ticket for passing a stopped school bus with flashing lights <gasps> on oh, yes. yeah. on um, 355. What is this? Rockville, Rockville Pike. Pike. Mm-hmm. And, and this is true. In a rainy morning some months ago, in a rainy morning following, a, a, no cars were stopped, and I was in the second lane from the left, mm-hmm. and there was a school bus that I saw, even in the rain, going about 35 miles an hour. I was going 35 miles an hour. Two lanes away from me on the, on right, the right, parked parked by an apartment house, mm-hmm. like off the, off the street, mm-hmm. essentially, mm-hmm. parked by an apartment house. And I didn't see the flashing lights. It was raining. I didn't pay much attention to it. And right in front of me, a white van went through, and no other cars were stopped. I guess we were the first two to that point, and I went through. Mm-hmm. And as luck would have it, there was a cop very near me, and a cop pulled me over and said, what do you do? And I actually, I rolled down my window, and I said, what? What's the matter? <laughs> what happened? Yeah. And he said, didn't you see those uh, flashing lights? And I said, no, I didn't see the flashing lights. And he said, you went through. I saw a school bus, but I didn't see flashing lights. And I said, well, this is a big road. I'm I'm the third lane over from that. I never, mm-hmm. this is not a neighborhood. And he said, look, these are the laws. You can't do this. I said, oh. So I, and I didn't say any more than that, and I took the ticket. You, say, well, you didn't say, do you know who I absolutely am? Absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. Did not say anything like that. And I took the ticket, and uh, I, without getting specific, there were a lot of points involved, and mm. there was a lot of money involved compared to a normal traffic ticket. Right. So I called up my friend and lawyer, Rob Ades, and I said, you know, I, oh, what do you do? <laughs> and he said, well, we'll get you a lawyer. And, you know, and, I, and, and what, I, what I always thought I would do was guilty with an explanation. Because mm-hmm. I understood that I probably mm-hmm. was guilty, even mm-hmm. though I didn't see the flashing. But I had an explanation, and I hoped to. And, and anyway, the, the, you know, and, and, and Raymond, the lawyer, helped me a lot, and, and everything was fine. In terms of what I consider to be fair... I got a fair outcome. Mm-hmm. I mean, I got, you know, I, I got a fair outcome. But was what was amazing to me, and I've never been in traffic court before, and this, I will tell you, was my first and only time in. I'm not going back because mm-hmm. I'll just pay the things from now on. But there were about 70 or 80 people in traffic court, uh, and, and the police come in and come out, and they have to appear. You know, if you're going to contest it, you have to appear, and a judge comes in, and it, it is like rockets. It's unbelievably fast. Mm-hmm. A judge calls your name up. You go up. What do you plead? And, and if you plead not guilty, and that's rare. Mm-hmm. And by the way, it's also it's not as rare as bringing a lawyer in. Yeah. I think I might have been. <laughs> there weren't that many lawyers in there. That's the general public right. is in there. Um, but if you plead not guilty, there's a trial on the spot, and that trial takes less than one minute. Mm. You oh. hear from the officer, then you hear from the judge hears from you, and the judge renders a verdict. Bang, zoom. I mean, the 60 to 80 people in there, beginning at, say, 930, everybody done by noon. Wow. I and mean, this is quick. And wow. basically it goes like this. The judge says, what do you plead? And most people pled guilty with an explanation. Mm-hmm. And the judge would say, what do you got? Guilty with an explanation. All right, talk to me. And then you say something. Is it Wapner on the bench? Well, it's, you know, it it, it seems to me, it seems to me to be a a well-practiced routine. He's going to hear what you have to say. Often he'll reduce points. Often he'll reduce fines. But you're not getting out of there for nothing. Right. So one one guy, and, and... There didn't appear to be that many rich people in the court. How else would I put that? Usually aren't. Though. Okay? And so the, what you would get is one one guy, he said guilty with an explanation, and the judge said, talk to me, like that. And the guy actually began, and he was he was charged with making an illegal right turn on a red, a mm-hmm. big posted sign and all that. And he goes, you got to understand, I was having a really bad day. <laughs> So, so now I laugh out loud. I'm the only person in the courtroom laughing out loud at this. This is hysterically funny to me. That's your explanation? You were having a bad day? And the judge, the judge, just what? And there was somebody else comes in there, and she says, and it is through an interpreter, but she, and she's also charged with either going too fast or making an illegal turn. And she says, uh, well, my, my brother... My brother was very ill, and I had to get a medicine, and I wouldn't have normally done this, but my brother was very ill. And the judge says, well, what are the conditions? And, and, and then in her second go-around, she talks about how sick her sister was. 
prompting me to laugh again and prompting the judge to say, wait, wait, is it your brother or your sister? And it doesn't really matter because she's making up the story. And so that so you see you see humanity in front of you. And most people there, I would think, m- believe me, most of the fines weren't anywhere near what mine was because right. mine's a more sure. serious yeah. thing. And I and I've learned a great lesson. Which is, it doesn't matter how wide the road is. You gotta stop. You know, you gotta stop. I wouldn't have thought that on four thought that lanes either. over. Yeah. In, in any case, <laughs> the, you know, most of them I think are, are, because the judge often says, when was the last time you got a ticket of any sort? And he's got the driving records right in ah, front of him sure. on, on the computer. And they say, oh, it's been a long time. And he goes, how about last year? Oh, yeah, last uh. year. What were you doing? Well, uh, were you speeding? Yes, I was speeding. <laughs> and they've got a thousand tickets. So they're in danger, and, and it seemed also to me that most of these people, and this is a terrible judgment, I could be terribly wrong in this, it seemed to me that most of them probably needed their cars for work. Mm-hmm. They were in a trade where they had sure. to get to work, sure. and you don't want to get to the point where your license is revoked, right. and you don't want it because you have too many points. Right. I don't think, I think it was less about the money than the points on yeah. most of the people is yeah. my guess, yeah. I think that's but I don't for know. most people. You know, and then and then of course I get when I go to pay or something like that, or before I even walk in, it's like, "Hey, Tony Kornheiser, what are you doing here?" <laughs> well, I got this ticket, and I and I don't know. You know, I, I'm guilty with the next. Oh yeah, you think you're just gonna walk? And I go, no. Or like, I really love your show. I can, could I take a picture? <laughs> and you just go, oh, yeah, sure, you can take a picture. It seemed to be a, a subversion of of the of the courtroom yeah. process. They didn't do it inside or anything like yeah. that and and but you you always have to say yes to yeah. all of that so it was, it was sort of weird i got a lot of help i'm very grateful for it it was resolved i took the morning off because i wanted to go to the court i mean i really mm-hmm. did you have that opportunity sure. i didn't i it's not that i thought it's not that i thought that the ticket was unjust i had some questions about it it became clear to me that i'd violated violated the law and that ignorance of the law was no excuse, but I didn't know that the law extended on something as wide mm-hmm. as Rockville Pike. Fine, but I also thought, well, wow, this is a lot of points and yeah. a big number here, and maybe I could at least be guilty with an explanation. Yeah. But to have that explanation, you got to go. Yeah. I was surprised at how many people didn't show. Oh, yeah. You know, their names are called. Mm-hmm. They're not even there. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you if you take the time to ask for the court date, yeah. At least let them know you can't be there yeah. and maybe reschedule. Yeah. Although, mm-hmm. I don't know. Anyway, so that was my experience. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Did you wear a skin-tight white dress? I did not. I did not. I did not go as Lindsay Lohan. You did not. Uh, I wore a Were you sweater. respectful? Yeah, I wore a sweater, a pair of slacks, a sweater, and a girly shirt. Girly sweater? Uh, uh-huh. A girly sweater? I didn't wear a girly sweater. I wore a very masculine sweater, I felt. And... um and the other thing that I will say is many of the people who were there did not seem to dress in their Sunday best yeah. to go to court. Now, yeah. justice is supposed to be blind, right. but judges aren't. <laughs> and I wonder if that works against you when sure you walk does. in looking, you know, sort of skeevy, if there is such a word. Do you have something to say? I do. And I just want to, you know, I, I went to a similar situation on a traffic court appointment uh, a year ago. And you did better than I because when, uh, than I did rather. Because when they said, what's your well, excuse? Well, I was guilty, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I was too, and they said, well, guilty with an excuse. And I said, well, I was really drunk. I, you <laughs> you know, did not I, say yeah, that. Yeah, see, that hurts you. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. They, don't, they, don't, yeah. they don't like that as much. Here comes Tony's mailbag. Go to read some for all you folks. Thank you, Gary. From Don Hammock in the Gulfport, Biloxi area of Mississippi. How does a thermos work? Well, the first law of thermodynamics says energy cannot be created or destroyed. The second law of thermodynamics says don't talk about the first law. So throw this email away, don't mention my name, and just be thankful that thermoses work. From Danny in Chicago, I'm a loyal podcaster. Please excuse this late email. I hope by the time you get this, the printer is working. Your story of a courtroom excuses brought a smile to my face. I'm a prosecutor in Chicago. I've heard some great ones. Before prosecuting high-level narcotics cases, I was in child support enforcement, which, among other things, handled disputed paternity. It was the Maury Povich show in a courtroom. Of the many excuses I heard, these were some of the best. It's not mine because my family only fathers boys. It's not mine because we only had sex once. 
These aren't mine. I would never make twins. And probably the best, the DNA test does not prove that it's mine because me and my identical twin brother both slept with her the same night. <laughs> How great is that? Mike from Burke, Virginia. Did they let you pay your traffic fine with a couple of autographed PTI hats? No, it was straight cash, homie. Tim Cree, Fort Collins, Colorado. There was such great humor derived from your visit to traffic court on Friday. Why don't you make that a regular feature? Just visit traffic court every single Friday, then summarize the shambles of humanity on Monday or Tuesday as the lying weasels try to get out of their tickets. Your Honor, I was speeding, but I was afraid the great deal on windows offered by window nation was about to expire and i couldn't let that happen triple pains your honor triple pains <laughs> i sort of like that all right we're pretty much out of time at this yeah, point 10 seconds well, that's really not enough to do anything else if you're out on your bike tonight everybody as always do wear white